they always ruin every basket or anything fabric lined ruined gone that's part of the promise when you get cats Is part of the the guidelines they always want to get like loud and crazy rowdy. when we start recording they like the minute rowdy. we hit that button it's because they know this like, is their room, and they're like, why are you guys in here? Look at him. He's trying to play with the tripod now. Bro, the other day, it was the middle of the day. I came in here and sat down, and ate ball and Muji. Muji was sitting on the white thing, and ate ball was in your chair. And I sat down, and they both looked at me like, what are you doing What here? are you doing? This like, is they our literally room. looked at me so crazy, and I was like, do you guys pay rent? Like, I don't understand why you're looking at this. <laughs> Did you see that thing I sent you? How, like, cats, like, learn traits from their owner? Oh, and it 100%. makes so much sense because, like, our cats are very much like us. I think anyone who meets them can, like, sense that. Like, Moochie will come out and Moochie will talk to people and greet people. And he's, like, very spazzy. And very spazzy and very ditzy. But then eight balls in the corner watching doesn't really want to talk to people. Alright, that's not me, but either. okay. Anyways. Yeah. More so, he's lazy. He likes to take naps and he lays He's down. antisocial. He has anxiety. What are you talking about? He Able. loves He loves attention, though. He loves attention from select people. Just like how yeah. you are. Ape, Muchi will literally come out to anybody who visits the house. Yeah. Ape Ball does not do that. You don't do that, though. Oh, I literally come out to visit everybody. When anyone comes to visit <laughs> yeah, the right. house, I <laughs> always greet not them. You're a social person. <laughs> oh, but if they come to the house, I always greet people. Like Who's coming to the like, house? Like, what if family, like, when your family comes over, I'm going to go out and sit. Like, when I had my I mean, aunt yes, and uncle come over, bro. Thing. No, when my aunt and uncle came over, you were hiding in your I was, room. You did I was not doing my makeup. Out. You barely came out. And then I came out. out. You want me to come out with foundation lips? Hey guys, welcome back to Unstable. <laughs> I don't know what episode this is. We 20, stopped counting. 24. There's certain foods I think about and I'm like, I wish I liked it. Because I could technically eat it. It's all like sushi. Like certain, like I wish I enjoyed sushi because it's like. But you tried that one sushi and you liked it. Yeah, it was like. Shrimp to, tempura. Yeah. It's, yeah. But I mean like, I wish I enjoyed like raw fish. Like I wish I would eat like all of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get what you mean, but you could say you like sushi because, like, a lot of people. I think that's such a fib, though. I like, mean, that's, that's so true, fake. but I like, never I, do that. I know someone that loves sushi, but they don't ever get raw, raw fish sushi. Like, they always get the cooked ones, See, but they love I sushi. I feel like that's like I'd feel like a fraud, or I, I feel mean, like let someone who really loves sushi test me and be like, "Oh, bad, let's go." And then I'm sitting oh, there. No, yeah, like, that's for embarrassing. Sure, for sure. That's so embarrassing. I, I mean, never yeah, do that. I, I love never. sushi, raw I, exactly. and all. Exactly. That's what I'm but, saying. I know you love sushi. So it's like, I can't think and be like, oh, well, I like sushi because I'm like, that's like loving oh, sushi. I'm, I want sushi. See, that's what you're saying. Like, sushi, like, the aesthetic of it seems so fun. And like, that's I love like, it. It's an aesthetic of like when you go to the restaurant where even when you're eating it, like the little box that comes in. Yeah. It's just They cute. are pretty. It's just cute. It's like a fun little meal. Bro, I went to the movies recently. And the person sitting next to me, we were sitting all the way in the back. And I've noticed this about the last few times we went to the movies. There's certain theaters that you can sneak snacks into. And then there's certain theaters where there's like no point of even trying. There's really no point of trying because they're walking around bringing food to everyone. So it's like, it's risky. It's like really hard. I, you know, I think that's a myth because I've never been to a movie theater. And I've always been like, oh, like you can't bring it here. And like people don't bring it to that one. I've never encountered that in my life. What? Like they, they will never actually check your bags. Like that is so oh, like no, what? No, no, 90s? no. I don't think they're going to check my bag. But like the movie theater we went to that was literally like you order from your table, from your seats mm-hmm. and they bring you food. We snuck in soda, Brie. And I remember we were like so sneaky Us? yeah but the thing is because they were do you think we had high. to I like do you think they to. actually would have said something? i think they would have said something because because the fact that they're walking by constantly bringing people food drink yeah. like they would have said something but like a movie theater where you just buy your ticket you there's the concessions and then you go to see you literally do not see an employee the entire time yeah that's where you could do it and i went to a movie theater the other day and the couple sitting next to us they brought sushi. It I was, was gonna fish, say. Bro. I was gonna ask, like, why are you? Why are we segueing into this? Did someone bring sushi bro. to the freaking movie theater? 
And it's like, I heard them open it. And the thing is, I didn't want to, like, look. So I'm, like, in the from my peripheral, I'm just, like, watching them peel open the box, open up the thing, pour it. And then I'm just hearing them. And they're, like, I feel like sushi is a pretty quiet food. But they're making the most noise possible. They're, like, scraping their chopsticks along the <laughs> end and, like, doing the most. And I'm literally about to be, like, bro, first of all, you're eating the smelliest thing possible right now. Why does it smell like a fish market? in the movie theater right now i just felt like that was like the most like why would you bring that to the movie theater theater? theater? come on like that's like having like a freaking egg or tuna sandwich on the plane yeah like like why things you just shouldn't eat in a small space don't do shared space like other people are sitting right here just get some popcorn and call it a night no like even if you want to sneak in (laughs) anything else fish it's just such a specific smell yeah like that's actually wild i mean i love sushi but it's just like Time and there's, place. There's a line. Time there's, and place. There's, and they crossed that line. They crossed it. And they ruined it. I was telling you earlier, I want to find, like, I want to get more clothes. Like, not new clothes. I want to get rid of clothes and then, like, get different clothes that are more my style. Because, like. Do you know what your style is? I know what I would want my style to be. You should um, you know I mean? make, like, a Pinterest board and, like, start pinning. Bro, I've been just seeing, like, these little Muslim girls pop up on my TikTok. And I've just been loving what they've, like, the, have you seen that trend where it's, like... I've seen, I've seen a lot of Muslim girls. Oh, you girl do this, but, like, can you dress? Hijab. And it's, like, dress, and then, like, they just put a bunch of their fits, and, like, and I'm, like, like, where, where do mm. you guys get this? Like, where do you get these things? Because I don't have well, these things. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, in a way, like, those little games I play, like, it's about, like... You have the things. No, it's about putting it together. No, no, no. The thing is, you no. have lots of things. I actually don't have the right pieces. There's always something that that these people. It's just thinking outside the box or being creative. But you Bri- have to unleash that. You I know what I mean. Don't think I have the pieces. I'm telling you. There's. And, you can always make something out of something. Oh, I know. I'm and sure. It's but fun. like, I just don't think I have that in me, and I wish I did. But that's what I'm saying. Start creating like vision boards. Like definitely like start putting stuff on pinterest that's where i honestly get a lot of inspo and it forms i'm like okay this is now i know what i want you know no yeah because like lately i've been hearing that like oh i like your fits i like your fits but i'm just like this isn't even like what i want to wear well that's fine it doesn't matter what people like or don't like no, no, no i know but i'm just it's, like i'm just shocked because i'm like really because i feel like this is not even so my you, best you wear a lot of things that you don't want to wear yeah especially right now because it's like hot yeah I'm, like, just wearing things to, like, be clothes, but, like, I'm not really caring because it's too hot for me to try to put an outfit together because I feel like most of my things, like, if it's a short sleeve shirt, I have to put a shirt underneath, so it's, like, layering, and then it's, like, ugh, I want to stay away from that. Like, even what I'm wearing right now, Mm -hmm. it's hot. Like, I'm going to, I would get hot if I wore this outside. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. There's, honestly, there's just, like, two types of people in the world, people that, like, want to like actually plan out and like wear the fit because it's the fit or it's like oh it's too much work it's too hot like i don't want to deal with that even in the even even in the winter it's like i'm just gonna bundle up like forget like the cute fit in the winter i'll do it for the fit for some reason like i don't mind if i'm a little cold Mm -hmm. if the jacket doesn't look right i'll leave it so you just pick and choose on the season but it's the heat brie I will yeah. pass out in the heat. Like, if I'm wearing too many clothes, like... But you don't need to wear too many clothes to make a fit. It's just, like, you don't want to, like... It does something like, you don't want to deal with it. Like you I know, just don't think just, I have like, the uh, right things, Brie. I don't think, to my brain, like... Yeah. So what I'm looking at, I'm like, I... There's I've also... Uh, I don't... I remember when I was younger, it was, like, a thing. It was called, like, polyvore. And basically, you take pictures of all your items in your closet. And you can, like, make an outfit. And you can move it around. Oh, my God. I've seen people do that for, like, trips when they're going on vacation. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll just take a picture of everything they packed. So that way, they can just, like, go through it. Yeah. And I also saw that people are doing now. A friend sent it to me. And, like, you know when you hold down an image on your phone, it makes a sticker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time she wears, like, a cute fit, she takes a selfie of, like, her full body of the fit saves it in a sticker and has a whole thingy on her notes app of all the fits so that way which she can go back and see those fits so that's smart. smart that's really smart that's really smart and like i was like okay i need to do that or even if one day if you're in your room and you just want to try on fits just to see what you can make out of it just make a little book yeah start with pinterest though i, I think just start with pinterest start 
I literally, like I was telling you earlier, I just want a bunch of money just so I can spend it on clothes for a little bit. Like, I just want someone to give me. Just, I like, think we should go through what you have first and definitely go through, like, what you definitely don't want anymore. I know. I need help because, like, if it's up to me, I'll talk myself into keeping everything. Yeah. If I get rid of this, I'll never see it again. It's also sometimes, like, like, we want to keep things because it's like, oh, what but if it's I like, could? Or like what if? at the end of the day, it's what's the clothes. point? It's, it's just, just clothes and it's not even your style so why keep it create a pinterest board and put it all together and i will help you to see if like this could go into this this could be a piece because there's a lot of times where you think it doesn't and i do it to myself and i give away something and i think about i'm like wait this is exactly my style i just didn't wear it as my style before i had uh someone come up to me the other day and they go i don't know them they were like, ha, 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 do you have Olympic fever yet? First of all, don't know what that means. Like for the Olympics? What that meant. Yes, because obviously the Olympics are happening. Two, I've realized I have never watched the Olympics in my life. <laughs> like, I've actually genuinely. I don't blame you. Because I have never watched I've it. I've only watched it once, and I remember it vividly. And it's because my dad <laughs> goes to work Oh, for yeah, it. well, that's true. So, Your like, I've works. literally only watched it once because, like, I remember he was away, and I think it was when it was in China, and he was there, and my mom and I were just, like, watching just to, like, <laughs> I was a kid. I think it was, like, 2008 or something. But, I like, think only once I was at a restaurant, it and it was playing on the TV, but it, was, it wasn't, it was like, a, it was just there. And I remember, I just vividly remember, because I remember it, it, people were talking about the table, like, how the Olympics were happening right now. Don't know where it was. Don't know anything. No, because it was so funny. Because just today, my dad called me, and he was getting ready to go to bed. And he was like, did you watch the opening ceremony? And I was like, I, I didn't even know. I was like, I don't have cable. I was like, <laughs> how am I supposed to watch that? So, I didn't even know they have openings. Oh, wait, you know what I did see? The Only boats. because I lady, I, I follow, I lady, um, I follow Lady Gaga on Instagram. I watched her performance. But it was there was no crowd. She did it like on like a steps somewhere. No, because I didn't even know they had performances like that. Because I asked my dad, I was like, "Wait, when was it? Was it today?" And he started laughing. He was like, "It was the twenty sixth today." And I was like, "Oh, why are you asking me now? I definitely didn't watch it. Like, yeah. come on, that was like days ago." I just have no interest. In it. But the thing is, okay, no, 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 because I sent it to you today. I didn't know skateboarding was in the Olympics. First of all, I honestly First think of everything all, is. I get no, I get it now. Everything is literally everything. Yeah, but it's the freaking skateboarding. Elite. And there's this, the person who I think it's the only person representing USA. He's very, very, very cute, Brie. Oh, like very attractive. I mean, it's a skater boy. They're no, known no, no, to be no, 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 no. He's not the skater boy you might think. Go look at it on all your TikTok. No, because I cute. actually no. It's just they're usually. I don't a, think playboy they're usually like okay they're basic they usually look more like basic white boy more like okay in my mind how i picture skater boys i think of like you know the sternio triplets no one of them like that's how i picture skater boys okay you sent it on i TikTok? sent it on okay. tiktok sorry this video is unavailable no! <laughs> what the heck why did they delete it <laughs> the why did they do was... that okay i see him you see him Kinda yeah. cute. He's kind of cute. Yeah, he's cute. He looks like a skater boy. No, he was not. No, it was funny because my dad was talking about um, <laughs> he was talking about soccer players that were there, and I was like, he was like, this guy was there, and I was, I didn't know who he was talking about, and I was like, have you heard Have you heard of the guy Jude Bellington or something? He's a soccer player. He's he was really hot. But my, I asked my dad, I was like, did you see that guy? And my Man, dad was like, I'm gonna no. start watching the Olympics no, now. Because, they all yeah. Just- <laughs> Yeah, that's the only reason the girls are watching the Olympics this year. I swear to you. <laughs> no, because did you see that TikTok video? And it was they were asking. I think it was a Brazilian player, or maybe it was just a fan oh, wearing I a Brazilian shirt. It. I saw it, and he was like, "Yeah, Israel's playing really well." Like, yeah, playing he, like really they well. asked about Israel, and he like was just saying they were playing like really they, well. I, I, they were doing good at first, but I think they said something messy. Is that his name? That's I a think, football yeah. player is like beat like doing better. Something. And then the guy behind him was just like, don't talk about politics. Don't, don't make it about t- politics. Don't and make it about politics. He, he wasn't at all. He was it. like, no, I'm just saying. Like, I And then like he it. made it about politics. And then he just starts going, free, free, Palestine. It, it was, was like, so bro, funny. if you want to do that, if you want to make yourself look scary, like you're 
No, literally, all the comments were like, "Man's literally said, well, if you insist, like, like yeah, you, you did you, it you to want yourself. me to? You want you're making it about that now. You did it to yourself." So you know how obviously I think we talked about it before about how like the cops like they're all shutting down all the smoke shops in New York like they're busting it down like the one on our like near us it like the sign literally says pet store (laughs) like it's it was like a they've had to bring in like fish food and like stock up on like pet food and stuff to like keep it going it's really funny so yeah they've been doing that here and like I guess it's like in a lot of places like I assume because of what happened to my sister back in Florida and um she has her OG spot it's this gas station she goes to and it was just a vape it wasn't even like the they hired a new guy and she's like fam like she explains it she's like they're my family like this man like knows because they he literally watched her grow up and basically they hired a new guy he was just staring at her after she like had her order and gave her like what she wanted and he was just like are you a cop and like first of all she was just like um she literally looks like Like, kind of like Like, what she's just a little girl like we're just girls like i like if anything ask are you underage like what are you talking about you a cop yeah like like, i don't know i don't know like maybe if he like wanted like maybe that like it's like a trick like oh she's underage and going i don't know but yeah, he didn't explain himself he just said mean, that she was but... like huh, no you know like just awkwardly no got her stuff left she goes back again she's with her friend keep in mind she's wearing hello kitty pjs she's like uh, her keys in her wallet like it's <laughs> it's just girly pop yeah. and she goes in he's working again she gets what she um she gets usually and and it's like it's not like it's her first time in there like she's yeah. a regular he goes if you're a cop you're going straight to hell and she was so baffled because this man literally just told her she's going to hell over if she's a cop cop. first of all first of all first of all first of all that (laughs) even that is a wild thing to say that is a wild thing to say even if she was a cop i mean she's not a freaking cop she for that then a cop why would you even say that if you think that's a cop and first of all it's this is a little this is my little sister like it was just so weird and like she was pissed because her friend didn't hear and this friend is a confrontational person rather than my sister so like if her friend heard that there would have been a whole storm inside the store but we left and katie was like "Mm, that guy just told me to go to hell (laughs) No, because it's also like the first, first of all, if you ask the first time, and technically, if you ask an actual cop, if they're a cop, they have to tell you. She would have oh, said really yes. they do? Yes. So, she would have said yes the first time if that was the case. So, why are you bringing it up again, sir? But it's just like, like why just so are you rude. bothering this little girl? Because they're worried about getting shut down and stuff. They're but so it's like, on edge. They're really, they're really nervous. But like, Even when I walk into the one here, like I feel like I'm like... It's illegal. It's illegal. Like, I'm not supposed to, I'm in, like, a place that I'm not supposed to be right now. Like, it's, like, I feel like they, we have to use, like, code words. Yeah, you basically do. They're it's very, so they're, they're on, like, it's so strict intense. lockdown. Like, they're not playing with you. They're so not playing ridiculous. with you. And it's funny, because if you'll go in and you'll try to get something, if someone else walks in while you're trying to order, they'll look at that person crazy, and they'll be like... Like, no, because is it a setup. And what, I'm like, the last time your brother was here, they were like, oh, we were just getting God. snacks and we stuff. Were they were like, snacks. do you know this man? They were looking at Zane crazy. <laughs> and the thing is, I get it. Where we live, Zane stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like blonde hair, shorts and his little slippers. Yeah, no, like he no, just stuck out. No. So I'm not surprised the bodega man was like, but the way he was staring at Zane, he just kept, like, I'm literally talking, trying to pay for our chips and drinks and whatever. Yeah. And he's look, looking at him, he's like, do you know him? And I was like, that's my brother. Like, that's <laughs> my brother, it's fine, like, he's fine. So and Zane funny. was literally just standing there, he was next so to Bree, he was just like, <laughs> no, I remember like, Zane was just like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what's going on right now? <laughs> And we were in there for so long because they were being so sketched because so many were, people were coming in and out. They were nervous. They were nervous. And yeah. I remember I just got back from my trip traveling. So yeah. I was like, what's going on? I haven't been here in a it while. Was I'm weird. like, it was are we weird. on lockdown or something? Bro, no, tell me how today 
we didn't do anything yesterday. So, like, I was home all day. So, I didn't shower last night. So, I showered this morning when I woke up. <laughs> and I showered. And then I was in my room. And then Brie went and showered. And then after Brie showered. After I showered, after I was brushing showered, my teeth. She screams. And the thing is, there's a certain tone when she says my name that I know something bad happened. So, either there's a <laughs> spider. There's, like, a little bug in the bathroom. So she said my name, so I'm like, what? What happened? I, I had the water running while I was brushing my teeth, so that's how I noticed this. It was brown. Bro, the water was running brown. And then I'm like, and then we turned on the shower water just to see, brown. and it was running brown. And I'm like, wait, so you showered in that, and I showered in that. like. And I obviously wet my toothbrush, and like it was, I was in the mid-brushing my teeth. Bro, I washed my face with that water. Like, what? <laughs> what? I literally, on my period, washed my coochie with brown water. <laughs> <laughs> well, we both did. I showered as well. We yeah. all washed, yeah. Everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, it every, touched every, every single part of our body. Every crevice. Every crevice. Yeah. The water is basically a part of us now. <laughs> yeah. And I texted the super. No reply. Don't Nothing. expect, don't Nothing. expect a response. And it's, but I think, because, like, it's definitely... I don't know how bad it is. Like, will it, like, because, okay, first of all, New York is known to have clean water, but obviously what this is, it's just build up in the pipes. I know that if there's construction nearby, it could happen in the pipes, and it goes away. I know just old pipes, the sediment, but what I read, and my dad said it probably was, because we live on a dead end, and there's a fire hydrant, and in the summertime, all all, all summer, day, they, all they turn on the fire hydrant and have the water go out. It's an, Apparently, it's a known thing that when you turn that on, and like if there's a, a firefighter using those, the water and the buildings connected end up brown for a little bit. Yeah, I didn't and know And they that. always have it on. They probably had it on today. Yeah, but it's like... I know. I what just, are we supposed to do? The what are we supposed to do? Like, I'm not going to wash my hands in that water. I'm not going to, like, I can't cook it and, like, wash. Feel right. Like, I'm not going to, like, make my noodles or make rice. Like, I wanted to make rice for our chicken nugget things, like our little boneless chicken pieces. <laughs> I wanted to make rice today. That was my whole plan yesterday. That would have been good. How am I supposed to do that? How do I make rice? With I, dirty water? I thought it went away, so I went to... And also, my water bottle is empty. Oh, both of Brita. our water bottles are empty. Britta's empty. <laughs> of course. We're going like to drink from the cat food. water fountain at this point. Oh, my gosh. No, that's disgusting. No, ew, no. Why Why did you even, like, think about that? For a you were just like, maybe... <laughs> no, I was I was thinking. No, I started thinking. What if we oh my to- god, they're gonna run out of water next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. No, I mean, obviously, I think we should get a gallon of water each to. at the store after we this, because I don't know when it's gonna come back. I'm still gonna shower in it. Are you? It's not dark brown. Let me put that out there. We'll it's try like to record a video. Ha- if it we has can. a tint. Bro, in it. it was like it has a tint. It's in like it. a coffee color hue, you know. But very light. Very like imagine light. it mixed with water. Like, the water's running from the faucet. Looks it looks clear. white. It looks white. It looks clear. And then when you see it in the, like, sink, it's, like, a tinted, like, yeah. beige color. Yeah, like, it, to a point where, like, I was, like, oh, is it a reflection of something? Like, I don't know. Because but then we were I showering during the day, and it was, like, we didn't turn the lights yeah. on, so it's, like, we did not notice it till Man, we said we, something. If we oh did this God. at night, we wouldn't have noticed, because we usually shower at Ooh, night. Yeah. But anyways, I thought it looked like it started to go away because I checked the chick the the chicken sink the kitchen sink because at first I thought it was just the bathroom but it was the kitchen it's too. Everywhere. It is le- more clear now, but then when I filled it up in the Brita and the Brita is obviously white, it didn't look pr- good yet, so I poured it back out. But like, is this safe to drink? Like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Obviously not excessively, but like, are I we don't gonna die. I don't think we'll die. I think we might get sick. I think it's very possible we could get sick. Yeah, I mean, we already have low immune systems. Also, we don't, we don't know what enough. it is. Like, is it rust? Like, I, don't I don't think we should take I a don't chance. Know. I don't know. I don't even want to like, bro. It's like backing up into our water for the toilet too. Like, this no, is yeah, not... like the toilet, like everything, like, is like I'm brown. S- I'm actually nervous because it's like I don't know what we're supposed to do if this doesn't go away by tomorrow. I just hate how our super never answers us. When we go to the corner store and get water, if there's someone like on our stoop, we should ask. We should ask them if their water is like brown yeah. too. Oh my god! And they might not have noticed because it's like, it's you have to like actually look to notice, you know? Yeah, and the thing is, I feel like realistically, I feel like something has only happened to our apartment. I I, <laughs> I, I swear so. to it's you, I swear to you. 
It's, Bro, not, no one else had the steam leak. That was just us. The lady downstairs said that literally happened to her. Yeah, but then she shut but the door and went inside. Because it's not that word. big of a deal. The thing is, we're just young girls and we're like, ah, Probably. all the time. But that's why I said, I'm like, it's a New York City apartment. Like, this is the norm <laughs> in a low budget area, to be specific. <laughs> These are the times I miss living at home. Central AC. Central AC. The pipes don't rust. Like, <laughs> I mean, they could. I mean, yeah, but we don't notice it. it. If you tie your tubes, do you not get a period? I don't know how that works. I, mean, I have no idea, but we should know how that works. I feel like you still... No, no because getting you your period you means can't. you're... Yeah, you're fertile. Yeah. So you can't get your period. If you should. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> Bro, well, it's it's so painful. It just doesn't. I don't know. Just there's. Really I think okay. there's definitely cons to that though. Like, and honestly, you might still get your. Period. That would be such a like slap in the face. I mean, the point of tying the shoes is not to not to avoid your. Period. Yeah, but it's like my body's upset because I didn't get pregnant, and that just seems unfair. You know, just seems a little I mean, unfair. They say it's your body's. Being healthy. I don't know. But, like, why don't men get punished for not getting someone pregnant? No, like, <laughs> this is, like, just what's wild to me. Like, woman, why is, like... Everything painful. Men, uh, men it's, like, they're the picture of, like... the Their main picture is, like, they're the top. They're, like, you know, like, the king is above the queen. Like, everything, yeah. there's just always this. But at the end of the day, or even, like, God in most religions is a man. And... <clears throat> At the end of the day, it's just it's just crazy because women go through so many things no, yeah. and hardships and pain that men don't have to deal with. But for real, it's the the thing is that's what I do love about like Islam and Muslim culture is that like it's just it's very much centered around that like women are everything to the mm-hmm. religion. Like literally, it said that heaven is under the mother's feet. So like. The way, basically, we were taught that, like, to be a good person, to get into heaven was, like, you don't hurt your mother. Like, your mother is yeah. literally that source. She brought you here. So, it's, like, I grew up seeing it in a very different way that I was, like, women are held to a higher standard than yeah. men. But I, I but it's just, like, the outside. Oh, world, yeah. Though. The outside perspective is that, it's, like, and that's how men think, too. That they are worth more yeah. than us at the end of the day. Which I think is crazy. Cause I'm like, like, how can you I'm not that? saying anyone's worth more than the other. No, I'm not. I get a, that. I'm not a misandrist. I don't hate men. It's just like, it's just sad to see. It's just I feel that like men don't. Women can see. So I I won't say all women, but a lot of women can see the hardships that men will deal with. But I feel like right. a lot of men do not want to even like. Yeah. Acknowledge. Yeah. All the pain and, like, suffering that women deal with constantly. Yeah. From being I mean, children. This is the thing. I don't even care if they acknowledge or not. It's just, like, funny how a lot of things are just, like, made, um, like, around the idea of, like, a men being, like, the highest up. And it's just, like, why? Why? How did that even start? Like, you know what I mean? Like, women do this, women do that. They're, like, they give birth. They have the periods. Like, it's just so much. Bro. You know how, like, have you seen, you've seen that, um... Where they, thing. like, put the thingies on guys and they can feel period cramps. Oh, yeah. I've I always wanted to that. try that on I guys. Wanna I want to see it. And I want to try it I also want to test it to see if, if it actually realistic. feels. Yeah. I want to see if it's realistic. No, but I was going to say, you've seen that thing where it's, um, you can tell how much, like, a fashion designer, when it's, like, a man, how much he loves women. Oh, yeah. Based on yes. the kind of clothes yes. he makes yes. for women. Yeah. And I've it's, like, that. it's kind of sick how much you can tell and it's just like wow you really hate women yeah like you must hate women like why are you designing clothes for women i don't get it i forgot who it was that i saw but it was like you could tell da 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 loved woman i I forgot what i want to say for lou was not louis vuitton who i just maybe christian dior yes it was christian Dior. was it it was christian dior okay it was christian dior yeah speaking of i literally just like a few minutes ago i saw a tiktok and it was it was i don't know what podcast oh no 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 it was a reel that some some kayla sent me it, um these two girls and they were she was like i'm never buying from gucci again like apparently gucci way way back before like in history 
the man that owned it did not want women to like be a part of it and like when he so when he died he had three sons and one daughter he put he gave the company to his three sons and nothing to the daughter and made it like a rule in his company and he it was his that like women have cannot be like the upper of like, gucci and the daughter assumed you know it her brothers would just you know you know advocate yeah, and fight for her that. and get rid of it but they just left it the way it was and it is what it is and because that shit is taught bro. and that's like so stemmed it's in just their heads. so what it's like a huge rule in gucci that like women cannot and no woman can work for like i understand it's like part. Was it Gucci men first before it was ever, like, for women? I have no... I don't even think... Like, how did it start? Was there no clothes for women? I don't know. I think it was for all or maybe even accessories. I don't know. It's, like, a whole thing. But, like, at the point of it, I think he just didn't want women to, like, own or, like, run it. It's so weird. And the fact that they, like, made it, like, such a serious rule in, like, the brand, the company's, like, agreement. so sick. Why do you want to keep women out of it so badly? Like, I don't... I, the thing is, I just don't understand why that's such a big deal. Like, why? Why is that... Why do you need to do that that bad? Like, what? Because they don't think women can who bring hurt anything. You? I don't know, bro. It's literally who hurt you. Was that you that um that was like, oh, Hugh Hefner's uh, dead? Was that you? No. I didn't know if Hugh Hefner was dead or not. I have no clue. I'm... Pr- I mean, unless I'm tripping, I'm sh- but... Uh, because obviously he, that's the man very who, old. who Playboy owned Playboy, created Playboy. But I'm pretty sure he did pass. Did he? Because I could have sworn he, unless it's some other guy, that he, when he wanted his casket, he was buried above Marilyn Monroe. And it's like a whole controversial yes. thing because it's like, that's so disrespectful. She's still he being disrespected die. and, and sexualized even when she's dead. How did they even allow that? How did they even allow that? Because he's a rich, rich white man. man. Like, that's just so disrespectful. Like, even if it was not Marilyn, even if it was another man, even if it was, like, anybody, that's just so disrespectful. Yeah. To, like, do that. Just Weird. Like, the idea I'm pretty sure it. it was him. I'm pretty sure. That's but I don't know sick. who I was talking about it with when I was like. No, he's buried in a crypt next to Marilyn Monroe. He's oh. buried next to her. He is not on top of her. He is next to her in the crypt. He paid a lot to be buried next to her, but luckily not on top of her. Okay, but I think people were probably talking about how it's like crazy that he paid it an absurd amount of money to just be buried next to this woman that he yeah. didn't know. And it's kind of creepy that like, why do you want that so badly? But at least it wasn't as gross as literally on top of her. That would have been. He was so ugly. He's old. I know. Let me look at him. Yeah, before. I'm so curious. What like, did he look like? He when had he was to young? be like he had to be like a stunner, no? <laughs> so like have you Playboy? Seen, like, those pictures of all the presidents um, when they were young. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Smoking. He was not a stunner. No. He looked like he'd kill you. <laughs> it's giving like American Psycho. Bro, it's giving American Psycho. Like if you you went back to the Playboy house with him, the mansion. Oh hell no. Did you ever hear, like, the lore about Mount Everest and poop? I saw it today. Really? I, I did, too. I, like, right when I, was, right like, when the I woke up, thing that popped on Right when dog. I woke up, too. That's I so never funny. knew anything. I didn't, really, of, I didn't know I was this. still half asleep when I was I watching it, and it. I was like, what the hell am I watching? All right, guys. So, apparently, like, obviously, people who hike, like, they got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And you're on long trails, like you're there for like yeah, days, right? Like right. Mount Everest, it's Mount days. Everest. Depending on what Weeks. you're doing, yeah, right. It could be it takes a long, long time. time. When they gotta go, they gotta go, and usually they just put it, in, they leave it in the snow. But obviously, like it's so cold that it doesn't decompose like it, it should, sh- so it's just freezes there. And apparently, like it's honestly like taken up. But like majority of the mountain like there's so much fecal matter on the mountain and like when the weather changes and it melts it, it makes a poop slide a poop slide like the the video i watched it, it had like ridiculous. this graphic like it was like a mudslide but like it, it was ridiculous it was ridiculous. and it was a man sliding down yeah it was, it was actually disgusting yeah and the thing is they said in 2014 they implemented that like people had to take their poop yes. with them like put it in a bag 
and take they it. They have to. Like, like they're dog. trying to, like, like they like, charge you, like, uh, what is it? Fine you. Like, they're trying to clean it up because it's so, because it's so dirty. And, like, even people that, like, are, like, camping out there that, like, you know, are, like, they're literally getting sick. Like, it's actually, I just never knew that. I mean, it makes sense when I think about it. Yeah, because, like, like, where are you going to go? You're right. But, like, I always think about people who want to, like, climb. I will never do that crap. never do that. Yeah, I'm too scared. I'm scared, first of all. And second of all, it's, like, yeah. You get there, you get to the top, what after that? You're just standing there, you're taking it in for a little bit, but then you gotta go down. Yeah. Then you gotta do that whole thing. You're literally, like, you do all that to be up there for, like, what, maybe an hour? I mean, I get it. it. Everyone has a different life. Like, there's a thrill in that that, like, makes them, it, like adrenaline they're high. satisfied. They're satisfied yeah. with life. And you know what? Scary. I probably would be too if I did, like, end up at the top of Mount Everest. Bro, that would, I, I think be I would be, I think I would faint. I think I would look down and I would faint. I would be too high up. I think I would lose my mind. I, I just saw, like, it was, like, it obviously didn't show anything. It was nothing graphic, but what happened was, like, this live streamer that was hiking a snowy mountain, and he was, like, talking to, like, in the... It was he was in, a, in, an, uh, in another language, so... Oh. But there was subtitles, and he was just talking to, like, the people, and he was, like really trippy fun like whatever whatever but it was like slippery and he slipped and like t- like he passed away on live because he slipped like just in an instant so terrifying no because have you seen the people who like i don't think it's called slack lining it's like i've never heard of that the tightrope like they're walking on a very tight rope they're attached to something oh my gosh and they but go on tall buildings are not buildings or mountains like high up on big rocks like they'll put out the rope and they're just walking there's, across this rope but there's sometimes a man. they're not attached to they anything don't like attach. it's like sometimes they it's sometimes like a circus they do thing yeah sometimes they do some people choose not to and i'm just like you're putting so much trust like a part of you knows you could not make it off this do you yeah. know what i mean like you go there every day knowing like oh. you could easily fall they know that and it's like what makes you want to do that so badly that you could like get up? Because if like if I knew that I'm about to do something that there is a more than fifty chance I fall and I'm done, there's no way you could pay me money to do it. Right. Like I'm not gonna do that. I then. feel like my fear would like I wouldn't be able to take. I one. wouldn't. Enjoy I it. honestly can't even do that. Even if I was attached to something and know that I would be safe if I fell, I don't have the balance to do that. The bungee jumping but, things, like even though I know you, I'm attached. The idea of you, like, bouncing, coming back up. Like, what if it snaps? My what if you like, snap? What if your, like, neck falls at the wrong moment? What if you fall into the wall? I mean, and yeah. Like, but the people that do this know there's a risk to it, but they just like doing it. But there was a man in New York City, like, known for that. Or, like, he traveled. I like, I, I, I remember, like, like scaffolding reading buildings, it in like, some, like, history thing. Like, it was, like... History. Yeah, it's history. Old. I was like talking about a recent person. I've seen like people. No, like, no, those... it's a man that like was known to do that here. No, it's illegal. I mean, oh, I think sorry. it was illegal back then too. But yeah, it, like I remember seeing pictures of him. It was like, I'll find out his name and put a picture. Yeah, but he's like ugh, my cousin. She went bungee jumping, and like, she just gives me Zane vibes. Like she's like Zane went skydiving. I would like, do bungee like that, like, jumping. <sighs> know that scares me like the same level of, like because i feel like it's not secure like well what if you don't like, go to a freaking third world country no not even just that like what if like when people go and they do it in like the mountains and stuff like you're around by so many rocks like what if you just bounce and you hit a rock like i don't know it's just yeah i would need to be in a I very mean, open area just water around me so if i fall i fall into the water i'll survive i think i think i'd survive that water maybe. won't make a difference really you're from a certain height You'll die still. You'll die. You'll so. die on it. But the thing is, it just depends. Like, it, it would have to be a very legitimate place for me. I have to, like, th- I, like, usually think about it in the aspect of, like, yeah, like, what if this could happen? Like, anything could go wrong. But that's, at the end of the day, it's, like, the same thing, like, going into a car and driving. Like, anything. Yeah. Could, like, you you know it's a risk. But, like, that's, like, obviously more it's normalized. It's more normalized risk. Yeah. Right. But it's, in a way, it's the same idea. It's, like, yeah. anything could happen. Yeah, it's professional it's you know i panic more when i'm in ubers because i'm like i have no control over this car right now yeah i don't know this driver he could literally be the worst driver in the world Fact. he could have no reaction time oh my god what if i get an accident right now and i'm with this man and i dilly die like what i was in an uber the other night and like you know how like 
our intersection and yeah and it's like you have to kind of like it's not a straight intersection you kind of have to like turn a little bit i think he was confused and was and stopped in the middle stopped in the middle of the road stopped in the middle everyone was talking at him so embarrassing before like i could like say something like he uh, is better off quick enough but it was just like Sir, sir where were you going what is going on why did you stop in the middle of the intersection i think like that's so common in new york though like how do you not like I, you know what's funny i remember it. when we were in the U-Haw. i remember when you first went over to you're like what is this what's where do i go it was, no, it's, a, it's, it's a weird it'd be, intersection it'd be it'd be nerve-wracking i will not lie like when the roads like slant at that like it, it's like it's it throws a weird, you it, it throws th- you yeah. for a second because like i don't want to go into someone else's lane i have to be very careful right now and i was also in a U-Haw, yeah. so i was really nervous yeah no, I was thinking about, because we were talking about the accidents, my dad, years ago when I was younger, he was working a job, and I believe it was Mexico or Puerto Rico. I, you know what's funny? I was just thinking about the streets in Mexico. They are different. He, and I remember- No, not Santa driving, not was, driving. Oh. He um he was um ziplining. Oh. He was ziplining. A lot of he people took, do ziplining in Costa Rica. It could have been that. Maybe it was Costa Rica. He was- he was working an event. He was working with a group, and he took the group zip lining. And he went on. They, like, sent him on to do it, too. And I'm surprised my dad even got on it, because usually he just, like, says no to things like that. Really? I feel like that's, uh, like, why not? Zip lining. The thing is, he probably had that mentality now. He's like, he would never, if I asked, like, could I go on a zip line? He, no, that's not happening. <laughs> and honestly, I'm too scared now because of his story. He went on. He got stuck in the middle. That's normal all the time, though. He got stuck in the middle. Nobody knew. They didn't, weren't aware. So they sent the next group with two people, husband and wife. And they were coming at a very fast oh, pace. And my dad was, like, literally stuck in the middle. He turned his body so that way his back was towards them. And they, like, literally collided in my dad at his whole arm shoulder. Like, back was literally so bruised. He was, like, bed rest. Like, he was working, and he was stuck there. I would have, like, put my legs out and kicked them. When, oh, no, uh, that fast? If he put his legs out, his legs probably would have gotten shattered. Wait, really? Zip lines going that fast? Your legs are so, like, they're not that strong. Like, if you jump from a very high enough building and you land on your legs, you're going to shatter. Yeah. Like, you yeah. can't. Like, if he put his legs out and they were coming full speed, yeah, he would have broken his legs. Like, that was probably the smartest thing for him to do is to, like, put his back towards them. Yeah. But I remember it was the last day of his job, and he had to stay there another week while he was healing because they wouldn't let him leave because Uh of his shoulder. And I was like – and then after that, he was like, you guys are never getting on his blind. And I was like – I no, yeah, because I know how they usually – they like, a lot of times it is common that it stops. But, like, usually, like – they're they aware. know they are alerted and like there's a way like you know stop. what i mean they don't send yeah. more people yeah but they did not i they always every time people. i see videos of that i always feel so bad for the workers that have to go and like get them go down and like oh like <laughs> i'd be so pissed if i didn't do that and the thing is like i feel like we've just had so many like like my dad like we've had friends get in jet ski accidents like we just have had so many people around us get an accident that, like, everything scares me a little bit. Because I'm like, well, this happened to them. So it's in yeah. the back of my head. I'm like, <laughs> the world's just scary. It is. Everything. It is true. Everything is just oh, jet skiing. No, I want to go jet skiing. I've again. never it's been. So I've never fun. been. It looks so fun. I would love it's to do it. It's the best feeling ever. I would love to do it. But I saw people jet skiing, like, in Manhattan, like, by yeah, the bridge. Yeah, people do it on And Manhattan. I didn't know you can jet ski in that water yeah to be honest because they were also landing planes near that but i was like this does not seem yeah safe. you can jet ski in there but i personally wouldn't because i would not when i'm on a jet ski like you i'm gonna get off. wet and jump well i don't fall off but or you could but you could true. but it's normal it's normal too yeah i mean if you just don't balance but no yeah but it's like i wouldn't want to fall off in that new york water i just like like you, you it's nice to stop the jet ski and jump in the water and enjoy the water like it's you know it's better in the ocean no, i don't know i've never i've never the, when I did it, it was uh, pouring rain, and I was going against the rain, Oof. and it was so fun. Like, I'm going, like, painful. over 80 miles per hour on this jet ski in, like, a vast open ocean, and no one's there, yeah. and it was such a great feeling, and also just the waves, but it was more wavier because it was raining, yeah. and the rain, it did hurt my face. I was face. gonna say, I know that It hurt. was, like, spikes to your face, yeah. 
But it was so fun that I just didn't care. But it, it, it just did suck, though. But like, good thing that wasn't nobody was out that mm-hmm. day because, like, I could barely open my eyes. Oh, like, yeah. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it's like I couldn't be the person sitting in the back. Like, I don't think I could hold on to someone that well. Like, I need to be the person holding on to these, like, Yeah, the, just get like, your own handle. jet ski. Because, like, I, just I would think I would fly ski. off if I'm, like, in the back. Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to hold on to someone. I, I think you'd be fine. But, like, why would you want to be on the back? Like, wouldn't you want to, like, ride your own jet no, ski? No, I'm just saying, like, if, like, I know sometimes you take turns with people. Like, you only rent one and then, like, That's two people true. go That's out. True. Like, you just take turns. Like, that is true. Save some money. I don't know. I've also never been, so I'm just, like, shouting things out. I just think I'd... Definitely have to do it one day. I definitely want to. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. See you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.